The electromagnetic energy given off by the sun serves two important functions from the point of view of living things. As heat energy, it heats the surface of the earth and thus maintains the range within which living things can survive. As light energy, it serves as the vehicle for a great miracle, photosynthesis. Photosynthesis is the way green plants use the energy from the sun to create nourishment. Cells known as chloroplasts in their leaves carry out the most complex processes. Chloroplasts work just like a chemical laboratory, with several chain reactions taking place every second. The only production of nourishment in the world is the extraordinary chemical process carried out by plants. All other living things are nourished from this one source. When herbivores consume plants, they take in this energy that comes from the sun. Carnivores obtain the same energy by eating herbivores. We human beings obtain the same energy by means of both plants and animals. For that reason, every apple, potato, chocolate bar or piece of steak we eat actually provides us with energy from the sun. Another very important result of photosynthesis is that it produces oxygen. Human beings and animals lower the level of oxygen in the atmosphere a little bit every time they breathe. Yet plants replace that oxygen by means of photosynthesis. In short, photosynthesis is a very well-designed process. There is complete equilibrium between photosynthesis and human and animal energy consumption. Plants supply glucose and oxygen. We burn the glucose and the oxygen in our cells. In that way, we are able to obtain and use the solar energy that plants store in glucose. As a result of this, we produce carbon dioxide as a waste product and give it off into the atmosphere. Yet this carbon dioxide can be reused by plants for photosynthesis. This perfect cycle constantly continues in just this manner. In order to see the flawless harmony with which this process was created, let us concentrate on just one of the factors within that process sunlight. We have already said that light from the sun was specially designed for life on earth. This important adjustment appears once again when we examine photosynthesis because the process can only be carried out with sunlight and no other. In his book, The Symbiotic Universe, the American astronomer George Greenstein writes, Chlorophyll is the molecule that accomplishes photosynthesis. The mechanism of photosynthesis is initiated by the absorption of sunlight by a chlorophyll molecule. But in order for this to occur, the light must be of the right color. Light of the wrong color won't do the trick. A good analogy is that of a television set. 
In order for the set to receive a given channel, it must be tuned to that channel. Tune it differently and the reception will not occur. It is the same with photosynthesis. The sun functioning as the transmitter in the analogy and the chlorophyll molecule as the receiving TV set. If the molecule and the sun are not tuned to each other, tuned in the sense of color, photosynthesis will not occur. As it turns out, the sun's color is just right. In short, there is a compatibility between sunlight and photosynthesis that cannot possibly be the result of chance. That compatibility shows us that the same infinitely powerful creator actually created the sun, the earth, and everything in it. That infinitely powerful creator is the Almighty God.